I'm Victoria Lucas, host of Hollywood at Home, with an insider's look at the movie that made the world fall in love with Audrey Hepburn and want to buy a Vespa motor scooter. It's Roman Holiday from 1953, a reverse twist on the Cinderella story in which Hepburn plays a royal princess who wishes she could just live a normal life for a little while. So she takes off on her own to see the sights of Rome, where she encounters a handsome American played by Gregory Peck. He's fun and seems safe enough, but what she doesn't know is that he is really a reporter out to get a story. And that definitely complicates matters when they start to fall for each other. This was Audrey Hepburn's first leading role, and she won an Academy Award for it. Not a bad start. The film also won for Best Screenplay, but the film's screenwriter couldn't accept the prize. He was Dalton Trumbo, one of the legendary Hollywood Ten who went to prison for 11 months during the McCarthy era for refusing to answer questions about his, or anyone else's, political beliefs in front of the House Un-American Activities Committee. Following his release in 1950, Trumbo moved his family to Mexico, where he spent the next 10 years writing screenplays under assumed names. For Roman Holiday, he asked his friend, screenwriter Ian McClellan Hunter, to pose as writer of record. Hunter readily agreed, slapped his own name on the script, sold it, and sent Trumbo the $50,000 writer's fee. Trumbo was finally reinstated in Hollywood after writing the screenplay for Stanley Kubrick's Spartacus, for which star Kirk Douglas insisted that Trumbo receive full credit. Trumbo went on to write scripts for Exodus, The Sandpiper, and Papillon. And yes, if you saw the 2015 movie Trumbo starring Oscar-nominated Brian Cranston, that was his story. Join us here each week, right here, for another look behind the scenes. And for the best back-to-back -back classic movies, watch Hollywood at Home with me, Victoria Lucas, Saturdays at 8, only on PBS 6.